Hello friends, those back pages here, I hope you're well. I am you, as you are me, as we are all collectors. The 2019 Natural Sports Card Collection has come to an end. I'm home, my voice is shot, as you may be able to tell. <clears throat> little froggy but I do not apologize I want to make this video as a recap of this year's show this year's national was was fortunate enough to be my tenth one <clears throat> it was by far the very best You should be watching everyone's recap videos. They are all amazing. Some touching, some funny. Some touchingly funny. I'm going to do my best to not mention anyone intentionally. I do not apologize. I met so many people. I had so many people come up to me and say, hey, I enjoy your channel. Really appreciate what you do. Keep up the good work, etc. Very, very nice to hear. So appreciative. I started this channel just to share cards with friends and I will continue to continue this channel just to share my knowledge and my cards with my friends Thursday night the day before the national ended <clears throat> is usually a sorrow time because most of my friends return home either Saturday night or Sunday early Back to the to the uh, non-card life. Back to the wives, the kids, the jobs. It's always difficult. It never gets any easier. This year was no exception. I picked up the wax you see in front of you at various times throughout the show. various prices these were nine dollars these were 20 they're hard to find now a couple years out Mahomes these were nine dollars and these were two for 35 so as I get these below retail during the show these were 10 each at retail these are the three card packs three pink packs for three pink pink Three pink cards per bag, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> and I was fortunate enough to receive the middle two as a gift from a friend. <clears throat> so able to open six Panini Silver Packs, and one was obviously thick. That's what she said. So I gave the honors of opening that one to Dustin, since he was to leave in the morning, and uh, told him to get me a Zion something, and he pulled this amazingly shiny <clears throat> Nick Sensel, numbered to 25. It is number 25 of 25, I believe. But that's got incredible atomic, uh, well, they call it cracked ice shine to it really like that one so then I opened the, the remaining five packs and saw this on the bottom Duke RJ Barrett base guard opened another pack Duke Cam Reddish 
number to 99, shiny, shimmer, and whatever the heck they call it. Opened another pack and got this Dwayne Hoskins, number to 40, number 8 of 40. Kind of a starbursty thing, not sure. Opened the last pack and saw on the back Duke. Cam Reddish. All that Duke, no Zion. This one's numbered to 299. Two cards per pack. Yada, yada, yada. <clears throat> so then I did this little recap of the last day of the show, which I was not able to film a video about. So I'll just include it now. Did my usual walking around. And first guy I hit was the guy I picked up all of those pajama pants, pajama cards from Akuna Pajamas. Thought of a couple other players I wanted to hit up. Go over them here briefly. A Reese Hoskins Hollow. Reese Lightning variation. A blue Phoenix Reese Hoskins. Goes really well with the power to blue throwback uniform. The Panini Prism Red Wave. I think these are numbered to 199. Essentially his prism rookie year. We're really starting to like this card, that design. The 2016 Blue Wave Reg Bregman, number two one ninety nine. Super shiny, super cheap. Picked up a couple Bellinger Optic Hollows, rookie rated rookie card. Again. Super cheap. Picked up this orange Bellinger. It's a great looking card, really. Number to two ninety nine on the back. No, three ninety nine actually. Sorry. And the regular hollow silver. Just great looking card, actually. It got me to thinking: if you collect a player, does it really matter if it says the team name on it? Because you collect the player. And then I picked up from the same, all these are the same guys. I got a big bulk discount. The regular Optic Rookie and the Donruss Rookie, which I did not have. Don't really need multiples of those. The shiny stuff, I could go for multiples. <clears throat> so then I did a, a lap for those of you that were there on the red carpet. I found a couple things. First thing was this from the 2018 Chronicles. The number eight of ten. Right there. It's got a really sweet patch to it. Could be pajamas, who knows? But the price was absolutely correct and I had to leave it home. Leave home with it. Uh, leave the show to take it home. Probably part of the A there or something. But that looks really good. Happy to add that to the collection. Then one more lap around the red carpet before it was time to leave. <clears throat> and I found a seller that had... Uh... Oh, and this is another reason if you if you can to stay on Sunday, other than trying to get good deals. Of which Saturday they made these $7, the blaster. And someone bought them all. I wasn't able to get there, and they were all gone. Which turned out to be the for the best, because... I had no more room, literally. I don't know if I could even fit one more blaster into my baggage, my my luggage. Unbelievably, how how, uh, how crazy everything gets when you're traveling by plane. So I, I found one seller and some shiny on the table, and he had busted a bunch of the gold VIP packs from the Panini Party the night before. Now, that's my point being that you want to, if you can, you know, if you have a player that's a modern player, you know, you might find something really shiny. So I I went and took a look at the box because it's free to look. And uh, lo and behold, I saw this from the, I guess it's just the 2019, I guess they're calling these, uh, 
the national set, I think, for lack of a better term. But look at this. Just look at it. Like cracked ice purple, or I don't know if there's other cracked ice, but then just look at that. These are number to 99, and I didn't realize till I got home, this is number one of 99. So obviously it's an eBay one of one, one million dollars. But in real life it was five bucks. I mean really, can you beat that? He's got the little pajama airbrush and going there. Five bucks, come on. Look at that thing. It doesn't really show up there. But unbelievable. So, you know, I found that. I, you know, he didn't have any pricing on anything. So you hold it up and he says it's $5. So I took it. So I figured, why, why not look through the rest of his stuff? And uh, found this in there. These are not numbered. This is not numbered. But, man, look at that shine. She's unbelievably incredible shine. The same as on the back. It says VIP on the bottom there. But man, this is just a great looking card. This has got the uh, velocity technology, I think they call that. And sure enough, that they, they had one other I found and it was Patrick Mahomes. Look at that thing, boom. You know, just a nice set, you know, they obviously stepped up the, the free giveaway game, the pack game, and, and uh, just great. I mean, charge me 10 bucks for all three of these. Come on, that's awesome. Just look at that shine. I mean, you can't, uh, you, these packs are 20 bucks each. And be careful, they're easily searchable if you buy any, because the, the packs, you can see the thickness. So the big hits are there. Really thick. Again, that's what she said. <laughs> but seriously, look at, I mean, look at that shine. You know, five, two fifty, two fifty. Yeah. Didn't have anyone else really. I guess I should have looked harder, but time was getting short, so it was time to go. So I said goodbye to to my friends that I see each and every year at the at the national, and um, before I left, you know, one one last stop, I went and saw my friend John, the gentleman who I uh, picked up all of my. Jita releases from last year's video if you remember that from way back in the day a year ago different times and uh asked him how the show went how he did he said it was a great show he uh had a guy buy a bunch of his psa 10 jeters and he had to you know he had to slum it and put out some nines <clears throat> and it, you know really hard not like late 90s like ultra die cuts and stuff that you know nines are, are as always are just fine but they um one thing he put out really caught my eye and i i took a look at it and you know we went over, we went over what it was we uh enjoyed going over it and talking about this particular release and and I uh, said, no, John, I, 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 nah, I, I can't do it. I just don't have the room stuffed. I couldn't even fit another blaster into my luggage. But uh, he said, give me 20 bucks. I said, nah, nah, I, I want to, and I just can't, I can't. So he put it away. And we talked some more, talked some more. Just a great guy. I mean, uh, you know, Dave mentioned in his, his, his video, his recap video last night that, you know, just the interaction is great. I mean, have an interact, have a conversation with a dealer. You don't always have to buy something. But, you know, dealers are not robots. They're humans, and most of them are collectors, too. And, uh, you know, they'll do you solid, or well, they'll remember you. I've seen guys, year after year, I've seen guys. Same guys say, hello, how you doing? Guys I've bought from before, guys I buy from regularly, guys I buy from every blue moon. But they remember, you know, they're humans too, they're collectors too. So be nice, you know, be kind to everybody. So I said, you know what, give it to me, John. I'll, whatever, I'll just, I'll stick it in the bag, I'll get it home. I just, just you know, just give it to me. So, so here it is, and uh, it'll fit in the screen, I think. 
It's the uh, 2006 Tur Topps Turkey Red Cabinet Box Topper. I mean, this thing is incredible. I, I, I think uh, Andrew Enough said cards as a real one, based after the original Turkey Red set. But man, this thing is incredible. You know, I, I'll have to go look on eBay to see if there's others, but man, this is just, it's incredible. It's a piece of art. I mean, it's got the texture, it's got the cardstock, and just look at that thing. I mean, it's incredible. So with that, it was time to hit the road, hit the hit the shuttle, head over to the airport. Said you know, said my my goodbyes to the room, to generic goodbye. Took the last pictures of the room. Sad, very sad. Uh, Post con blues is a real thing, guys. A real thing. I mean, I had a couple friends text me, "How you feeling? Feeling down? Yeah, feeling down." You know. Got to wait a whole nother year to see see my friends and chew the fat and hang out and talk cards and you know the whole deal. So I went over and I got my got my bag from the hotel and got on the shuttle and got to the airport no problem. Uh, it was fairly crowded, not too crowded. Uh, I had left extra early because I figured you know that coming to Chicago they gave me a hard time going through TSA I had some slabs in there I had my custom card in the card in the card saver and a thick brick that they said they couldn't see what it was blah 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 I had to open everything up so I figured you know heading home you don't want to miss your plane since you know most of your friends are already home by then or on their on their way you uh I figured better be safe than sorry. So, you know, I packed up my stuff and I put my my baggage, my luggage and my book bag on the on the counter and and uh lo and behold they didn't go through anything, you know. I was happy about that and I walked around a little bit, took a took some light little last sightseeing and uh through the through the terminals just to have a look around I you know I was wearing my U Matter shirt and it was, it was nice I saw a couple people smile that's really what it's all about make make other people feel good and uh, having a you know the one thing I already always ask people when I see them are you having a good time I mean that that's really what it's about I mean you can find you can buy cards on eBay 24 hours a day Maybe if it's a really rare card, you have trouble finding it and you have to look a little harder. But for the most part, you can buy cards on eBay 24 hours a day. You can't buy friends on eBay. You might be able to buy friends on message boards by sending them free stuff, but those aren't really friends, are they? So, no, you want to... It's just so important to... I mean, as... As has been mentioned in other recaps, I mean, it, you know, it's just to meet people. It's just, again, I don't want to go in. I, I would never be able to to, ro to roll call off everyone I was able to meet this year. I mean, it's just unbelievable how many people, you know, easily 35, 40 people that I had never met before just coming up saying hello just between you know all the collaborations with everyone else and it's, it's just fantastic it really is so you know like food lift you know you know food uh, choices aren't what i would call spectacular at the airport but they are what they are so i i grabbed a little something and i sat down and i you know was reflecting on the week and I was just getting real emotional. I mean, uh, I'm not ashamed to say that. I mean, I, I miss my friends. They're important to me. Each and every one of you are important to me. You matter. So, I wrapped up eating, and I was going to walk around again. and <clears throat> Get up, you know, I was charging my phone. 
packing up. Someone walks up behind me. Says Eric and taps me on the shoulder. I believe that's how it went down. But regardless, he knows who he is. He's hopefully he's watching. Hey, Eric, I I watch your YouTube videos. You know, I watch every you know name insert name here. And, you know, I just wanted to thank you. And, you know, we 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 stood there and we talked for like ten fifteen minutes about various topics and you know. He lives in Jersey, so he'll be he'll be at the show next year. Well, I'll be at the show next year. You know, I'm on the island, so it's a two and a half hour drive. Of course, I'm gonna go. But man, that was just uplifting. That was just uplifting to to be able to. Man, in the in the freaking terminal, someone comes and and says hello to you. That's just mind blowing. It's so amazing. It's such a great feeling. I mean. really is you know it really shows you you know what this hobby is really all about I mean, we all love cards and we all have to show off cards and get great cards but to say you can get great people to, to, to get to know great people it's just there's some intrinsic value you cannot put a number on talk now I guess you know and then of course you know, oh man <laughs> so you know we parted ways and uh, you know before I got on the airplane I was sitting there waiting for them to uh, board and the gentleman sits next to me rather close and I didn't pay any mind because don't be rude Start staring at me. So finally I look over and holy shit, it's a guy I've known for oof, 13 years now, something like that. You know, saw each other at the show, of course, but, you know, just sat there and talked some more and had good reminiscing about things going on. And, uh, you know, then I got on the plane and I got home and eventually got here. And here we are, but... You know, the 2019 National is, as I mentioned, it's my 10th one in a row, actually, fortunate enough. And by far, by far, the most interaction I've ever had with anybody and just amazing, just simply amazing. It was crowded. Um, I was fortunate enough to be there on Tuesday, and for a Tuesday, it was crowded. I mean... Setup day usually isn't too crowded, but it, it was crowded uh, for a Tuesday. And a Wednesday, opening day for the public, and it was crowded. Even you know, Friday, Thursday, Friday, steady, steady crowded. Saturday, of course, crowded. And even Sunday, even, <clears throat> even to, you know, everyone's credit. Saturday, Sundays have been, to put it bluntly in the past, have been a ghost town. There have been some days I've gone to some of the shows and, you know, 40% of the tables are empty. Ghost town. They're barren. Like, no cloth on the table. It looks like a gym set up and with your typical neighborhood card show with blank table, bare tables. and uh, But no, Sunday it was, it was pretty hopping. I mean, it was... You know, the real litmus test is going to be is going to be Atlantic City next year because Atlantic City in 2016, although it was nice because of course it's nice, the national is always nice, but I wouldn't say attendance was exactly booming. I mean, a lot of people didn't go. The location's tough. If you fly, you ne you need to fly into uh, Philly and then drive to Atlantic City. So if you are planning on going, plan ahead and try to see if you can hook up with another tuber or cord mate or whatever it may be. But man, it's just gonna I, I can't wait till next year. I, I I you know, I say that every single year and you know, if this year is any indication and the hobby is booming and uh, what's next year gonna be like and it's uh 
you know, of course we didn't get all the answers we wanted, but we got some answers and we get all, but, you know, like Dave, Dave says, it is going to be some bad actors. It's always, no matter what it is, going to be some bad actors, but we cannot, cannot and will not let it bring us down. Do your due diligence. Buy the card, not the assigned grade. I want to thank you. Each and every one of you. You're so important to me. All the handshakes. All the hugs. All the hellos. You can't put that stuff into... You can't. You just can't measure it. It's just great. So there you have it. There's my recap. I'm sure I've missed stuff. I'm sure I tried to give a daily breakdown because it's easier to... It's one that's extremely fresh right before bed. And, uh, but, and so it is. You matter. You are very important. Always learning. Keep learning. Never let anyone get you down. You are amazing. Be kind. <laughs>